What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, we're out here. I don't know if you can see it, but you see the blue top on that building. We're here at Goodwill. Came to check it out, see if I can find some stuff. This is the Goodwill I found that North Face jacket last time. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and check it out and uh, had a little bit of free time. So trying to get back on my grind with the videos and just looking for the steals and deals as always looking for that vintage heat uh, i was planning to go out to the homies shop today uh but i didn't make it out so i'll probably be going tomorrow which is friday which all these videos are of course a day after so yeah uh but stay tuned i got more coming let's get up in there before it gets later and uh see what we find all right stepping out stepping out and you can see i got the milwaukee fit right here that cook this town collection rocking it with the laney fives you know try to keep the colors going like i said i still feel weird when i'm recording these people were passing right now and everybody just stays like kind of looking so anyway let's jump up in here and see what they got So we're over here in the stuff. Uh, there isn't really much to look at, to be honest, as far as what I'm looking for. Got this thing right here, Domain Chandon. Put them bottles on ice. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> Got this Superman flask. Maybe some super drinkers. I'm talking about $3. <laughs> All right, guys, and I'm basically just gonna show y'all, this is why I don't really look for shoes at the Goodwill or wherever because that's what you get you probably still want like 10 bucks for that and I got some little kid shoes and stuff but nothing crazy some roller blades um but yeah there's not really not really much these have seen better days I don't even want to really touch them um Trying to look for one thing to show, but like I said, the condition on most of these shoes is what you're gonna find at most of these places. And over here is just high heels, so a bunch of outfits and stuff like that. I mean, if y'all looking for that, like five bucks, this Avengers one. I know this if you buy a new is probably like 50, 60 bucks. It has like foam and all that. So I mean if you want a uniform or costume or whatever. You probably find one for pretty cheap, but uh, yeah, that's probably all I'd get from here. But yeah, my wife found a couple little things as far as decorations, so I think we're gonna get up out of here, go to another spot. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, we're here, spot number two, another Goodwill, as you can see right there. This is the one where I found a few things last time, so I'm hoping they got some deals, some steals. But as always, it's the luck of the draw. So let's get up in there before more people get in there. <laughs>
see if you can see. Five bucks. Still looks pretty good. I mean, it still looks new. It's like kind of like that wicker sweat material. But yeah, got some True Religion up in here. Three dollars, size two X though. True Religion University. That split T. Not bad for three bucks though. Does anybody still rock this though? Who wants to be the ref? That old school Rollins ref shirt thing. Ten bucks. Has that Fox logo on the side and actually has the tag still attached. Thirty-seven bucks. Ten bucks though. They show these kind of shirts, but it still looks brand new. A little Coleman brand right there. Doesn't look too bad. All right, guys. So y'all, y'all can see I got me a soda. Got a couple little things. We'll go over that when we get back to the house. And uh, it's raining now, so I'm gonna try not to get my kicks dirty. But anyway, we'll jump back into it when we're at the house, unless we go somewhere else. But uh, yeah, it ain't raining hard though, I guess. So that's the good part. But uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, and like I said, I didn't know if I was going anywhere else. Bam, y'all see it right there. One more spot before we hit the house, because uh, tonight is Thursday Night Football, which y'all will probably be seeing this on a Friday. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's jump up in there before it starts raining again and uh, see what they got. All right, we're starting off again over here. We're in the regular stuff. First shirt for the day. Shape. I'm like to see this it comes with it on the inside as well. Not sure of the brand, but yeah. Seven bucks. And got the Under Armour right here with the camo. I got a couple jackets, but uh, I ain't gonna use them that long here in Texas. A&M, probably one like 20 bucks, 17 bucks, 
is it UTSA I think it is or something Dale Earnhardt but this one would be dope if it was so damn small 10 bucks though Stitches brand, seven bucks. Detroit, Let's see, it goes all the way down the sleeve. Pretty good shape for the price. Of course, the Texas Longhorn, Red Oak Spokeswear, Sportswear. Got this too. Eagle Pass. Make some shoes out of this. It feels good. Let me look through this stuff real quick. And this one's actually thrown up here. The only reason I went for it was because I saw this. It's like a satin material. Oh, you can see it sliding around. It has the S stitched in on the back. And if I could put it up here, the Syracuse. Still in pretty good condition. See the inside. Not too bad. Uh, this is a huge size though for 17 bucks. And as y'all saw, they had some things up in there. I might be looking kind of dark. Texas thrift store coming through yet again. Big old bag. Y'all probably saw a couple things through the bag since it is kind of see-through. But anyway, we'll go over and we we'll get back to the house, man, because it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff for two stores. Or three. Or two. Anyway. We'll get back into it when we get back to the house all right guys and we're back here at the house finally took y'all to a few different spots and we did find some thrift store ah blessings as you can see a little more than others a little more than others but that uh i think it was the last place we went when it was already getting dark uh that place is big and they always have a good amount of selection so i'm gonna go over the goodwill i think this was the first one we went to couple little different things that I picked up uh, that I showed throughout the video. I'm going to try to go through them kind of quick. I don't want to make the video too long. This Cowboys shirt right here, Nike. Cowboys Nike shirt. I bought it for my niece. So, yeah, that's for her. Just got to wash that up. My wife will be doing that. This one I actually found, and it was a small. My wife liked it, so I went ahead and scooped that for her. A Jurassic Park shirt uh, from Universal Studios. And this one, I like the vintage feel on it. Has that Nike on the front. Nike Sporting Excellence. I thought it was pretty dope and it didn't have any stains or anything like that. So I went ahead and scooped that one up. Uh, that one was three bucks. So definitely a steal. Now the hefty bag right here. We had a few more things that I found. And yet again, my wife came away with some, some deals. This shirt right here, she found and went ahead and scooped up. San Antonio Spurs. It is a gray, and then in the San Antonio Spurs part, it has a little bit of like a, a pink hue to it. So, uh, yeah, she liked that shirt. Went ahead and scooped that for her. Now, the next stuff, uh, I guess, would be for me. I think they are. Yeah, most of them. Let's see. I picked this one up, which y'all saw in the B-roll, that UTSA Roadrunner shirt. I just like that Dia de los Muertos um, skull on the front. And the graphic and everything, the T still feels fairly new i mean pretty much maybe they wore it one time or something but yeah i went ahead and scooped that next item is this brown tee right here because i don't have that many brown tees has that corona extra right in the middle and then that big all over graphic on the back with corona las vegas i just thought it was a dope design went ahead and scooped it up for the low now this other tee right here is an old school tee i did pay seven bucks for it so a little bit more but the graphic on it is still like in perfect condition so that's the only reason I really picked it up. And of course, you know, it's always Spurs, Spurs, Spurs. So definitely had to scoop that up. Now, the next item, I only got a couple more things. So I'm going to run through them. Like I said, I don't want to take too long. It's already been a long enough video, guys. But my wife liked this right here because she is from Michigan. Does have the colors going along the side. It is, uh, what was that? Stitches brand. So not the craziest brand, but still dope. Has it all embroidered as you can see Detroit she liked that and it fit her good so she went ahead and scooped that 
Now, this next one I had to talk her into getting because she's not the biggest fan of red, even though you know your boy will rock that any day of the week. Went ahead and picked this up right here. Bud, King of Beers on the front. It's like that racer type jacket. Um, this sleeve, it has that Dale Earnhardt number eight embroidered into it. Uh, the other side has his signature, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. And of course, over here towards the bottom has that NASCAR. And it is, uh, what was the brand on it? Chase Authentics for Women NASCAR. You see the tag right there. And this was the only, the, the, the main find that I, I found just by chance. They had it in the guys section and I saw it was a small. As I said in the video, I didn't even see that it had said for women because the tag was kind of covering it. But this thing, I know it goes for well over a hundred bucks. You can feel the quality on it. And it's a super dope thing. No, no stains or nothing like that. It still looks brand new. So yeah, she wasn't feeling it too much, like I said, because of the red. But she did like the overall feel of the, of the material and just the overall product. So I talked her into getting that. And for 10 bucks, you can't beat it. So yeah, those were the thrift store finds, guys. I'm always trying to get out there. Haven't done it as much as I've wanted to. If you haven't already, check out the vlog from yesterday. I'll go ahead and put it up here so y'all can check it out. I'm kind of trying to vlog a little bit more here and there. And um, there was some places I was planning to go today, but I had to do some automotive stuff. So I was stuck in the shop for about four hours today. So my day passed by pretty quick. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get out of here. don't want to talk your ears off. As always, comment down below. Chop it up in the comment section with me. Let me know what you think of the video, of the pickups. Just overall, anything you want to comment down below, chop it up with me. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already so I know you like the video and it helps spread the channel as well. We did just hit 1,900 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you for spreading the channel, for showing love and support to the channel. I really do appreciate it and I'm trying to get back on my grind. I know it's been a while uh, since I've released the video so I'm going to get back on my grind, get back to the consistency that I had before. One last thing before I forget, don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam if it's your first time and you just checked out the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, don't cost you anything and you can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. But again, it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace guys, to the next one.